Well, she's multi-award winning and one of the most successful fashion designers in Australia. We can claim her as our own. Here to promote a new design range for Spec Savers, which is her first ever for kids. Please welcome to the cafe, Colette Dinnigan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lovely to have you here. Absolutely. Pleasure Good morning. To, to have you here. Uh, first, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you've been incredibly successful as a designer for years and years and years. Uh, you've been you featured in the campaign, haven't you, alongside Kate Blanchett, uh, Robert De Niro and things. I mean, where did it all start for you? Oh, my goodness. That's back in American Express days, I think. Oh, yeah. We, we go right back to the <laughs> right back. Yeah. Forgotten all about that. Um, you know, I think, it, like everything, it just starts with a passion and you have to follow your dream and it's not like a job and it goes from one thing to the next and then you realise you have to turn. It's almost like turning art into a commercial enterprise. Mm. And you and I think art now you even have to run it as a business. So it's sort of you know there's a fine line, but it worked. And speaking yes. of the fine line, where do you get your inspiration from? Because you're incredibly creative, but I guess there's a bit of reality too when it comes to what you're doing, isn't it? You've got to find that fine line. Oh, reality! I think that's something you should never start with. You always start with a big dream, <laughs> a big hope, and a story, and then you try and realise it. And I think you have everyone else in the world telling you how to commercialise it. So, I think you never start from a commercial point of view. It always brings itself back. And if you've got a strong story to tell, it's there. It gets there. Mm. And speaking of a strong story to tell, you're designing these these specs over glasses for kids. Kids can be extremely demanding <laughs> in their tastes and very vocal what they like and they don't like. Um, how did it all come about? Um, well, I think, you know, my daughter wears glasses and I can remember always, you know, I'm ha the children are very difficult, especially in their kind of tweeny years. They're not sort of Disney characters, but they also particularly don't want to wear what their mum might wear. No, so, exactly. Um, there was a need in the market, so we sort of, we decided to do a collection at Specsavers and it's been the last couple of years of developing it and it's, they're meant to be cool and still, I guess, not so much on trend but things that children will want to wear for petite faces mm. and um, things that are different but also not too grown up. Mm. Yeah, and it, uh, uh, it creates a nice bond too, isn't it, between parents and kids mm. when they're choosing their glasses. The kids are having a bit of fun, choosing mm. something that they like, and the, and the mums and the dads know that what they're getting is quality and it's going to work for them. Oh, absolutely. Well, spec savers do quality glasses. I wouldn't be working with them otherwise. Mm. And But I think it is more so for the children. We kind of want to market it to the children rather than the parents because, well, I know from experience, my daughter, if I say, I like that, she's like, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, well, exactly, it's particularly when they get to that certain yeah. age, don't they? And you're doing the age group from like 1 to 16, is that sort of the, the demo that you're going for? Um, 8. 1 eight to, to 8. Six, yeah. 8 to 16, yeah. sorry. Um, and how do you go about starting with the style? Like where do you start to get something? Well I think a lot of it's sort of about personality and colour and having fun and sort of it's taking it away from being discreet. I think sometimes, you know, a lot of um, it's about giving children confidence mm. and actually about making them have things that kind of are noticed rather than trying to be something that's sort of almost going into their yeah, face. Yeah, rimless ones yeah, exactly, to be on trend. Exactly, yeah. and, and do you think you could get a little bit braver when you're designing for kids? Um, you know, you've got that freedom, uh, I guess, just to open up with the kids. But yeah, you can because it's a lot about colour and print and it's playful and it's about different shapes. But, you know, at the same time, it's sort of, if you're designing for, you know, if I'm designing clothes for women, I kind of think, will I wear that? Right. It's very hard to get into their psyche because, as I said, if I ask my daughter for any comments, she's absolutely not on the radar. You know, it's, I can't go there. It's, it's funny, but... Are there some considerations that you had to think about when you were designing for kids? Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of the face shape's much more petite. Mm. It's um, and I guess the technical department, spec savers, they're the ones who kind of come up with all the equations and the mathematical. I, I do the colours and the materials, and I sort of wanted them not to be too precious. So it's not like a child's going out to a cocktail party. It was more about being in the playground, being playful, being practical, mm. but at the same time having a lot of you know, spunk and personality mm. and and something that was different and unique. Nice and, and, and an identity as well, you know, when you're that young as well. It helps. And form that. What have the kids said about the glasses? Did they have much well, feedback? yeah, no, when we did the campaign and we did the photo shoot, the children loved them, even the ones, which was a great sign, the ones who didn't wear glasses, because a couple of the kids did, they actually wanted to keep them or wear them because they thought they were cool. Well, so, that's a funny yeah. thing. My yeah. son really wants to wear glasses and he doesn't need them because he thinks they look really cool. Um, so with these ones in, uh, you're Colette Dinnigan, big, big name. Uh, are they going to break the bank? 
<laughs> no, not at all. It's two pairs um, for two ninety nine, and I think you know what's great about New Zealand actually is the spec savers have free testing for all children mm. up to the age of sixteen, and so you know I think the statistics and the frightening figures are that you know most children don't get their eyes tested, and I'm, like I compare it to dental health. You know, ever we always talk about going to the dentist or making sure our children yeah. have healthy teeth, and I think parents need to do that for you know eyes as well. So. Um, spec savers offer free testing, so it's worth just doing it, just to know. For gives you a bit of, you know, confidence that if something isn't wrong or right or whatever, yeah. you're in the right direction. And it's great too that two pairs because you just know that they will probably possibly break one of those pairs. It's always good to have a backup one. Oh, Colette, well, thank you so much for coming in today. It's been an absolute pleasure. It has. Yes, uh, awesome. And there is a time reminder that our children should have an eye test once every two years, which, as we mentioned before, is a free service at Spec Savers for Kiwi kids under 16. Yes, and enjoy the rest of your time here in New Zealand because you are a Kiwi really are you I just am. live in Australia you're definitely a Kiwi <laughs> it's such a treat to come home I can't nice. wait oh yeah. nice you enjoy it and mm. thanks for coming on the show today and get this we've got two pairs of Colette Dinnigan frames from Spec Savers for Mum and two pairs of Colette Dinnigan spirited kids frames for daughter to give away just head along to our Facebook page to enter that is a fantastic mm. prize